Welcome back to another week of development on Moon Invaders. In the past two weeks, I've probably done more work than in the past month. So I've really, like, it's picked up pace because it's gotten really exciting and fun. And it feels like it's getting somewhere. So, you know, that's great. I'm really into it. The, the problem I have now is getting myself to stop and do other things so I don't ruin my back. But, you know, it's really cool to be making this game. And so I want to show you what I've been doing this week, but I should say that it's a lot of weird, random, smaller things. So first up, let's get back into the regular gameplay. Well, as you should probably noticed immediately, there are only four tower spots here and as you can see new artwork for them they actually have models now which is exciting for me and they do a cool thing when they build look at that energy they get generated out of the ground but you're wondering why so few well when the game starts you're only going to have access to five tower spots and it, you invest in the skill tree to upgrade that all the way to the full 19 that's in the you know, that actually is what was in Moon Invaders 1, and I really liked that number, even though it's a weird number. And so I'm going to do that here, but you start at 5, very weak, and you're wondering, start at 5, why do I only see 4? Well, duh, that mountain is in the way. So it dynamically looks at the terrain, and if it's not flat enough, it won't put a tower spot there. And so... That way some levels, you know, it'll be like the entire left side of this level isn't buildable, so how are you going to work using only the right side? Something like that. I won't use that very much, but I'll have a couple spots where that's an issue, like the edge of a crater. And uh, you saw earlier that I dismantled a tower. That's a new feature. Not too super exciting, but it's something every tower defense requires. So, anyway, this is the new tower base. And boom! It's the skill tree, sucker, with some debug info in the upper left there. Uh, this is kind of, you know, very much modeled after Path of Exile. They're kind of gigantic skill tree with bubbles in every direction. You can see this is just test data right now. This has nothing to do with the real skill tree, but there's that center node that you start with that's giant. And then, you know, there's the one you got next to it, and the ones you can't could build yet. Then I've got these ridiculously long arms just to test the scrolling aspect. But yeah, just a real cool gigantic skill tree. Hundreds of nodes. Those are coming. And from there we move on to the trickiest part of all, which took forever. The gear screen. Look at this. Uh, this is all temp data. All the text is just written uh, just stuff I wrote real quick none of the items will actually give you plus seven to bagels on Thursday mornings which is a shame I know five different tiers of gear from uh, zero to four stars and of course the associated colors because that's how gear systems work and over here in the middle is the gear you have equipped this is like the most basic gear available and obviously most of the slots are blank right now so you got your four conduits your generator at the bottom and then you're missing two processors a core and an overload matrix which is a very important piece of the equation i spent so many hours yesterday getting this drag and drop to work see boom pick it up drop it doesn't actually do anything but at least you can pick it up and drop it now which is amazing and it compares your current gear to what's on there, although right now it's all identical, but still, at least it works. So yeah, this is this is part I'm really excited about. I spent so much effort making those icons appear. They are they're not icons, actually, they're 3D renderings of the actual piece that got created. It puts it in a spot in the level, takes a picture of it, and then deletes it. It's a really convoluted method, but it's what I had to do in order to get, you know, completely randomly generated gear to show up instead of drawing tens of thousands of icons. So I'm really excited about the gear system. I hope it turns out to be fun because the tech is really complicated. And that is your Moon Invaders Minute for the week, five minutes long. It's a long minute. Bye, folks.